hi guys welcome back to my channel glow like the moon and today we're going to talk about a topic that's not publicly discussed especially by women and by men when it does it will normally be in a negative context if you know what i mean and that is feminine hygiene um feminine hygiene is a broad topic i can go on and on all day about it but today we are going to focus on the most common issues women will normally face and those are yeast infections bacteria vaginosis and utis um, I know men and women suffer from UTIs, but it's more prominent in women. Yeah, so we're going to discuss the treatment and prevention of those. So grab a cup of tea, a glass of wine or anything because this video is going to be a bit long as compared to my previous videos, but I'll try to pack as much useful information in it as possible. So sit back and relax. <laughs> All right, so I'll start with yeast infections and bacteria vaginosis. Um, yeast infections and BV are much more common than we think, and the prevention and cure is extremely easy. Um, having a yeast infection or bacteria vaginosis, BV, um, can be very uncomfortable. It can affect your romantic life. Um, it can make you feel very self-conscious on a daily basis, and it's overall a very uncomfortable experience. Before I dive into it, I want to explain to you the difference between yeast infections and BV, because what I find in, uh, most times women normally treat BV using yeast infection medications and then it might go away for like a few days or weeks then come back and you're wondering why what's happening what's, what I'm doing wrong but instead of using medication for that they use they use medication for yeast infection and in the long term it won't work so the difference between yeast infection and BV is that yeast infection is caused by a fungus called candida and when you experience this infection, you'll get symptoms such as um, thick, white cottage cheese-like discharge, um, smelly and itchy vagina, sometimes burning. And on the other hand, BV is an unbalance of the good and bad bacteria in your vagina. And you know when you have BV, as compared to the yeast infection, which has a thick cottage cheese-like discharge, BV has a, a normally thin, gray, like grayish-like color, um, watery discharge. Um, the smell is a lot stronger than yeast infections. Um, it's just, it smells like a lot, a lot more irony. Um, it does come with itching and burning also. So that's the difference between the two. So before I get into the treatment for those two, I want to touch a bit on prevention because my philosophy is that prevention is better than cure. And my first tip to prevent both yeast infections and BV is to use a pH balance wash for down there. Um, why not bar soaps? Well, bar soaps and high scented body wash can throw off your pH balance because of the scents, the dyes, and all the chemicals in it. And when your pH balance is thrown off, off a yeast infection is bound to happen and I use um, this I mentioned this product in my previous smell delicious video um, this is a summer's eve nighttime cleansing wash it says nighttime but I use it morning and night um, it's clinically tested removes odors uh, it's pH balanced and free from dyes and gently cleanses and refreshes your vagina um, you don't necessarily have to use this brand you can use any other feminine wash brand once it's clinically tested and it's free from parabens and dyes. My next tip is to keep down there dry. Bacteria thrives in moist environment and when down there is like full of hair or bushy, um, there will be a build up of moisture. Um, so you need to keep down there dry by shaving or waxing. Personally, I wax um, because it's more convenient. The hair takes longer to grow back. It will leave your skin babies off. There's so many benefits I can tell you about waxing, but shaving works just as fine, just as long as you keep down there dry and hair free. I'm not going to tell you bathe every day because that's a no-brainer we are not like men that can get away with certain things because of our anatomy we are more prone to infection so bathing every day it's a no-brainer and you should be doing that 
my next tip is to use baby wipes it's kind of technical let me explain all right so if you say you do a number two during the day and you're wearing a panty liner and sometimes sometimes toilet paper alone isn't going to do the job as effectively as baby wipes so if you use toilet paper alone some residue may um leave back and transfer onto your panty liner and if you're active you're moving you're walking up and down sometimes your panty liner can tend to shift or move and if that residue is on your panty liner it can shift and go close to your vagina and that bacteria can be contaminated and can cause an infection so to be on the safe side after a number two especially um just use a baby wipe to get down in there and always remember to wipe from the back my final tip on preventing all right now my final tip for prevention for yeast infection and bv is when you're inserting anything up there um let me give an example, a finger. If you're inserting a finger up there, make sure the finger is clean, um, sanitized properly or whatever. I could probably give other examples, but I don't want this video to get flagged. So make sure it's clean and sanitized. Whatever you're inserting up there, just make sure it's clean. All right, so if you do happen to develop a yeast infection or bacterial vaginosis, I would highly recommend you use this boric acid, 600 milligrams. It basically supports pH balance and supports vaginal health overall. All right, these are suppositories or capsules, if you want to call it that. And what boric acid does, it naturally cleanses the vagina while, um, restoring pH balance and the good and bad bacteria. This is the holy grail for your girl. Even if you don't have an infection, you can use it for um, high scented issues, um, dryness, itchiness, burning, um, and excessive discharge. This is the one product fits all for whatever infection you might have down there. Um, also, you can go on Amazon and read the reviews and testimonies about this product. I think I paid uh, about 25 US dollars, but it works amazing. Whatever issue you have down there, like I mentioned earlier, this will work. And how this works, if you have an infection, you use this for seven consecutive days at night you insert it with a clean finger right before bed and it's advisable to use a panty liner because the acid cleanses the vagina the liquid will come out and just to be on the clean side is wear a panty liner if the yeast infection is extremely bad um, it says here that you can use one every 12 hours so please ladies invest in one of this i 100 percent recommend this product for whatever issues you have down there so now we have that covered it's time to talk about urinary tract infections yes utis um every person uh, will experience at least one uti in their lifetime and they are totally normal and normally women who are sexually active um, can or will get a UTI and basically when you have skin to skin contact with your partner bacteria I know bacteria is always there but there is good and bad bacteria so bacteria can get into your urethra and if that bacteria is not flushed out properly a UTI will occur and you'll know if you have a UTI the symptoms will be burning while urinating a strong urge to go to the washroom but when you go only few drops comes out it's very um high scented your urine smells very 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 strong and high um sometimes there's blood in your urine and um it also comes with um tummy aches so those are the basic symptoms of a uti and the prevention of uti is simple all you need to do is urinate after sex that's basically it i know after doing the d you would want to like lie down and and cuddle but prevention is better than cure again so get that butt up and go to the washroom and pass out that urine when you pass out that urine you're also passing out whatever bacteria is in your urethra that may have occurred because of sex and even better take a shower 
take a shower so you can get rid of the bacteria outside also and on your vagina so that's basically it to prevent UTIs now if you happen to get one you need to go to the doctor because the best way to treat UTI is to use antibiotics in my opinion um, and, and only a doctor can prescribe that because it's not over the counter and here's a quick tip to use when you go to see your doctor ask your doctor to do a culture test now what a culture test does it basically finds out the type of bacteria you have because not all antibiotics treat all types of bacteria sometimes your doctor may prescribe uh, an antibiotic for you that would not 100% treat the type of bacteria you have and then you might feel better for a few weeks and then it, it will come back so ask your doctor to do a culture test so he can prescribe the right type of antibiotic for you so another product i use to further prevent utis apart from just urinating after sex is to use the demanos urinary tract capsules this cleanses the bladder and the urinary tract the body uses glucose to cleanse the bladder and your urinary tract and this basically is another form of glucose to accelerate that process and you can use this in conjunction with your antibiotics um, also you can use this right after having sex or the next day just to just to be on the safe side and prevent a uti from happening the suggested dose is three capsules one to three times a day and you can use it with water or cranberry juice because when you have a uti you really need to hydrate drink a lot of fluids to pass all the bacteria faster so um i recommend this product also um to speed up the process and to keep a healthy generally healthy um bladder and urinary tract so those are my tips and tricks and products to maintain good feminine hygiene so thank you guys so much for watching the video if you have any questions you can follow me on instagram at glow like the moon or three and you can we can have a, a for the chat there you don't forget to share the video with your friends your family your wife your girlfriends anybody don't forget to like and comment thank you until the next one bye guys